I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications and go follow me on Twitter at KO Boxing 86 TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. We live Wednesday and Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. We also live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But let's go ahead. Oh, and the debate tonight, Devin Haney versus Tank Davis debate, it's going down. Y'all be sure to check it out, man. Y'all be sure to check it out. Devin Haney, Tank Davis, we getting it popping, bro. We got Boxiana versus um, BFTV Boxing, so y'all be sure to tune in for that one. But let's get to this prediction. We got Artem uh, Dalakayan versus David Jimenez, WBA flyweight. 112-pound um, title on the line. Um, they were going to be the co-main event on the Archer Baturvi Evan Anthony Yard card. Um, Delakion is out of Ukraine. He's an Orthodox fighter. He's five foot four, 21 wins, no losses, with 15 wins by way of knockout. Um, and I forgot his age, bro. Give me a second. My bad, y'all. He is 35 years old. Yeah, he's 35 years old. And again, fighting out of um, the Ukraine. Now, um, you got David Jimenez is 30 years old. He's um, from Costa Rica. And he's 5'4". He's an orthodox fighter. 12 wins, no losses, 9 wins by way of knockout. And then Artem, um, Artem is 21 wins, no losses with 15 wins by way of knockout. So this was a good one, man. This one was a big one. This one's going down in Wembley Arena. Um, and it's going to be a good fight, man, for a world title down there at Flyweight. Now, um, breaking down the fight, right? Breaking down the fight, um, you got two different styles. You got David Jimenez, who he has pretty good movement in the ring, um, okay boxing skills, but he's really um, a guy that's looking to slug it out with you. He's a guy that's looking to make it a fight and make you sit in the pocket and throw with him because he's not going to be the fastest guy. He's not going to be the quickest um, he's not going to have the best hand speed. He's not going to be setting up different angles and stuff like that and, and being able to work behind his jab and use his boxing skills. But if you let him get in the phone booth with you, he can outwork you. Um, and he can, you know, he has pretty good power to stop you, mainly um, because of a war of attrition and wearing guys out. But um, he's, he's definitely somebody that you got to look out for. He just fought Sandoval. I was looking it up. Um, because I remember watching that fight, and that was a real close fight. He won a majority decision, and it was one of those times where Sandoval was boxing well, but as the fight wore on, Jimenez was able to get inside on him, make it into a fight, and he was able to get the cleaner, better work off um, on, the, on, on the inside. So he's a very good brawler if you allow him to get the fight there. Artem Delacon, um, he, he fights with his hands low. Um, he does look to walk you in the shot, so he's looking to be a counter puncher, not like a pull counter or a roll counter, but make you reach. So use his distance control and his feet to make you reach. You fall short, and then he fires off um, a, a nice counter shot specifically with his right hand, and then he also is looking to jump in, in on you. So he'll play possum, fight off his back foot, circle the ring, use distance control, um, and then when you think you're out of range and walking to him and walking him down, he'll jump in with a left hook, jump in with a right hand, um, and, and things of that nature. A very dangerous style because you have to leave your feet to do it, and he can get timed trying to jump in on somebody and get countered and get caught. Now, as far as the pick in this fight, um, I think it I think it can be twofold. Right? I think Delia Khan is the better boxer. I think he has the, the better footwork and, and his pivots are better and his ability to counterpunch is better than that of Jimenez. I think Jimenez is the harder worker. Not in count, not being in shape, but in the actual fight. If it comes down to war of attrition, if it comes down to just it ain't really about skills no more. We both tired. Neither one of us can get out the phone booth and we're just going to have to fight in the phone booth that's going to favor Jimenez and my opponent. As long as they're at a distance, as long as it's a boxing match, you got to favor Delia Khan, um, in my opinion. So this pick basically just comes down to if you think Jimenez is going to be able to apply the type of pressure, is he going to be able to turn this into the type of fight that Delia Khan's superior boxing skills 
don't come into play and it turns into an all-out brawl. If it does turn into that, then you probably see Jimenez winning a very close decision. The longer that Delia Khan is able to keep this a boxing match, he can win this fight going away as a superior boxer with the superior footwork and movement and ability to take different angles. So with that being said, um, in a fight like this, I I'm going with the better boxer. I think Jimenez will put up a valiant effort. I think he'll have his moments, but I think the movement around the ring that Delia Khan is going to be able to, to, to do the, the counter-punching ability when Jimenez does reach and miss because Jimenez will fall over his front foot reaching, um, trying to chase you. And, and those are going to be the moments where I think Delia Khan lands those cleaner shots, is able to stop him in his tracks, pepper him with his jab. I think he's going to have some success jumping in on Jimenez, getting his shit off, and then getting right back out. I just think he's an overall better fighter, and I think his style – um, it's gonna give Jimenez trouble because Jimenez is not the great at cutting off, is not good at cutting off the ring, and so that movement of fighting off your back foot and countering, I think Delia Khan is gonna be able to do that comfortably all night because Jimenez is not gonna be able to take a step to his left to cut off the ring, take a step to his right to cut off the ring. He's gonna be following Delia Khan across the ring the entire night, in my opinion, and I think that's gonna bode well for Delia Khan and let him fight to his strengths which is that counter-punching ability, herky-jerky style, jumping in on you with hooks and then jumping back out and keeping the fight at a distance, scoring points on you while you're unable to score points on him, allowing him to run up rounds and win a unanimous decision, in my opinion. These are two undefeated fighters um, that have never been knocked out, so I ain't picking no knockout on this one, but I do got Delia Khan winning this fight, going away by unanimous decision, eight rounds to four, nine rounds to three. Um, it's my official pick. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Comment down below. Smash the like. Sub to the channel. Let me know who you're picking in this fight and why you're picking them. Uh, and I appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy y'all day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out.